welcome to my channel where we talk about all things home decor and interior design. This week, come along with me to shop at Hobby Lobby. The week I'm filming this, I believe that they're having a sale on wall decor, 40% off, fall florals, 40% off. Um, but all the items that I did purchase, I went the week prior, so the vases were 50% off, and that's really what I was looking for. But just always keep in mind Hobby Lobby always has sales going on, so never shop full price. Just check your weekly ad or um, sign up for their emails and that's how you'll find out what your Hobby Lobby store has on sale this week, which I highly, highly suggest. It's a great place to be able to find um, good home decor pieces. You just kind of have to look through their different stands and themes they have going on. Because sometimes the way they have it arranged, it, you might find a good piece where you otherwise might think you won't. Um, but yeah, so come along with me to Hobby Lobby.
gonna show you some of the pieces that I picked up. I think that I got a really good deal and I definitely see myself using these throughout the seasons. You can easily change out uh, your decor by adding different coffee table books, vases, small decor pieces, or keep your vases all year round and just switch up the florals. That definitely helps to add touches of every season without having to go fully overboard and feel overwhelmed with adding all new decor in your space. So the first one that I found, I'm currently obsessed with green and I actually picked up two vases that are different shades of green and I really, really like them. They might feel a little bit odd, but I can see myself styling them in ways to just add that pop of color. So the first one is this one here. I love that at the bottom it kind of has like this fluted detail and it gives a little bit of interest as well as a small little handle and the spout. I think it's super, super cute. You can easily style this by adding a little bit of baby's breath in there or just simply by itself on top of a cup of coffee table books, which definitely gives it the height that you might need in some spaces. This is originally $12.99 and so it was half off, so six bucks for it, which is not a bad price at all. And I think this color can definitely be transitioned into various seasons. So it's a good piece to have if this is the colors in your home that you have currently. And I will put all of the SKUs or product codes in the description box below in case you're looking for something similar. But honestly, the best way is just stopping by into the store and taking a quick look. All right, so the next piece I picked up is this super, super cute, small, like squished looking vase or pot here. And it retails originally for $29.99, so half off, $15, $16. That's such a great price for something of this shape, which I know is definitely a hot commodity right now and everybody is looking for it. What I really loved about this and it was different is the like texture on it. I don't know if it comes up on camera, but um, it is glossy, which normally vases and uh, vessels of this nature are matte, which I typically love, but adding this one to my collection was really nice because of that specific feature. And I definitely love it. You can, again, use it on its own or add any sort of fall florals for this upcoming season. The next one that's pretty similar to that one, but in the matte version, ah, it's this one here. A lot of, I know people have been looking for this one and it's honestly hit or miss. This one I originally went in before the sale and I lucked out. It was the last one available. So unfortunately I didn't get this one 50% off, but if you do stumble upon it, I definitely recommend grabbing it because it's a good designer dupe. So a lot of like amber interiors or interior greens has similar shape to this and it's definitely a good price. It doesn't have like the age details that some of those designer ones have, but you can easily add that with a simple DIY. If you just make like a spray paint it a little bit darker, put some dirt on it, or I know some people use like cinnamon spice or allspice and then it gives it that dirt look on it. Um, but I love this one because it's a little bit bigger than this glossy one here. But I also just love the um, scale of it and then the small handles here. So I have it styled right now. I took it out, but like some lavender for spring. But for fall, you can add a little bit of those deeper colors for your florals or by itself again. And this one originally retails for $35.99. And it's definitely one of the must-haves that I think you should add to your home. The last vessel that I added to my collection this time around, and again, none of these pieces are necessary to add to your home, but if you are on the lookout for them, I like to just grab them when they're on sale and they're good pieces to just put here and there throughout your home. So again, I told you guys I was obsessed with green. This one, actually, I didn't really love at first. 
I kind of overlooked it on the shelves because again it was hidden with different items but once I took a better look at it I really really liked that it has that just crackled look on it again small little handles and it's a unique color of a green feels a little bit ombre but I think it's a really really beautiful and cute piece so it's gonna help me add that pop of green that I really am looking for okay and then Moving on to fall florals, I found a couple of stems that I love. I'm planning on using on maybe some of these vessels here because going into this fall season, it's going to help me just add subtle touches. I don't want to go overboard, so this is an easy way to be able to do so without breaking the bank. So the first stem I bought was this one here and each one is $7.99 but they were 40% off at the time that I purchased them and I really like that these kind of feel like little cotton balls but there's a lot more of them so it just fills up a vessel a little bit better and I picked up I believe three so again if you're able to bend them nicely you can add them here and then I love when they're a little bit saggy so it just feels a little bit more natural. Then the next one, uh, another color I'm really obsessed with is chartreuse or just like that golden yellow. And these are the ones I found. I love them so, so, so much. These are $9.99, but again, buy them on sale whenever you can. And I really thought these were super pretty and I can see myself using them in multiple ways and definitely it's a very common color in fall so you can use it this season and in many many years coming up if you just take care of them pretty well but I believe I bought like three of each so it adds enough volume and substance to a vessel lastly while I was there I have been on a hunt for a beautiful boucle fabric because I want to make a cushion for my bed just to be able to give it a little bit of interest. Right now it feels really flat because it's all wood. And I've seen a couple of like super elaborate upholstered beds. And that's not really what I'm going for. I love to have the wood popping through. So this cushion, which I'll do a DIY on, is I think the perfect way to be able to achieve that. I also have a couple of scraps of leather that I'm thinking of using to be able to combine it with the boucle. And I don't think it was on sale, but let me show it to you. Uh, yes. So it's this one here. I just love the texture of it. It feels like in between a chenille and a boucle which I think I prefer because if it's completely like just boucle like I want to add a couple of stitching details and it wouldn't have really popped through as much but I'm hoping that with this one it does and then lastly to complete my bedroom kind of update I purchased a fabric that I'm hoping I can make into a lumbar So in a previous video, I showed that I purchased some of the Studio McGee um, like olive green fall collection pillows. So then I want to make a long lumbar to be able to go in front of those. And here it is. It's this beautiful plaid. It has like gray and black um, colors in it, as well as it has like the golden yellow touch, which I think would be really, really nice combo with the rest of the colors that I have going on. All right, that is all that I have for today's video. Thank you for shopping with me at Hobby Lobby. I hope this video inspired you to pick up some new pieces, and if it did, please comment down below what your favorite piece is or what you're planning on purchasing, as well as maybe it helped you use your existing home decor in new ways. Please give this video a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.